if you do not run, you cannot win. And you don't always win all of the time. But you win some, you lose some. But the Massachusetts Senate seat was an election Democrats across the country couldn't afford to lose. Although I am very disappointed, I always respect the voters' choice, and that's what I told to Scott Brown tonight. And Here he is, the United States Senator from Massachusetts, Scott Brown. Republican underdog Scott Brown pulled off a historic victory, dealing Democrats a huge political blow, all the way up to the president. Thank you very, very much. Wow, what a great reception. What a great crowd. And I bet they can hear this cheering all the way in Washington, D.C. As Brown celebrates his victory, the fate of the health care bill hangs in the balance. Democrats now scramble to move to Plan B to get the bill pushed through without the 60-vote majority. It gives the Republicans a critical vote in the Senate to block a lot of what the president wants to do and force compromise and force the parties back to the drawing board to try and work out some of their differences on health care. Coakley's loss is particularly shocking in a blue state where Obama won with a full 25-point lead. If the Democrats can lose in Massachusetts, what does this mean for the midterm elections? There's obviously, it's not that there's been a huge partisan shift, it's that people seem to be upset with what's going on in the country right now. It's hard to believe that just a week ago, Coakley was boasting a double-digit lead. But voters here in Massachusetts believe there is one thing that led to her downfall, complacency. I think she took too much for granted in the beginning, and it was very difficult for her to catch up. As a result of that, I well, I, I think that you know there was a little bit of complacency, and I think a little bit of um, you know thought that we, it, because Massachusetts is a democratic state, that uh, she had the, the the race at hand. But uh, I think that obviously this has shown that that's not the case. And Brown could be sworn in as early as next week. He's vowed to be the 41st vote against the health care bill. As Massachusetts voters recuperate from a volatile campaign, Democrats in Washington gear up for a long, hard battle ahead. In Boston, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.